Oh, what a day, guys. Sun's out. Chilling. It's hot, guys. Summer is here. I'm still ill, but over most of it. So if my voice allows me, I will be doing the podcast and the rest of this vlog. And we got a trip to the Tottenham Stadium once again as we welcome Everton in the final game of the season. See what happens. Well, you know already. I'm going to go to my usual spot and keep it real, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey guys, like you heard, it's the last game of the season for Tottenham Hotspur v Everton. My voice is still not back, 100%, but I couldn't miss this. I mean, you couldn't miss this. It's unmissable, because after this game, we've got the Champions League final. Champions League final. As a Tottenham fan, it's not often you say that. And so it's just... It's going to be an amazing day. We're going to play Everton, see how it goes. They've been playing well recently, but so have we. So have we. And Ajax found out the hard way. What a week of comebacks. So we go again. Premier League, just finish off with a bang. Then go to that Champions League final with all the confidence in the world as well. But we're going to pick up my uncle who will be joining me at the game. And yeah, so that should be fun. His first visit. That is really loud. Just getting strapped in. Anyway, his first visit to the new stadium. So it should be fun. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Look. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Oh, man. Entrance, your entrance, yeah? Yeah. Why not? Oh, shop. Beautiful under there, Tom. Stand up, 
If you ain't Arsenal, and Chelsea. Hey yo guys, and that is that. Tottenham Everton, final game of the season. I took Uncle Tony, because he hasn't seen the new stadium, and we had a, a great old time, singing all the usual tunes, and just typical last day of the season. The managers weren't barely on their touchlines, or well, Poch wasn't anyway, and we're getting ready for this big Champions League final. I haven't had a chance to, to tell you guys because I've been ill, kind of. Like the day after the game, that's probably how I lost my voice. But yeah, just amazing. Lucas Moura with a hat trick. A player that's been like a fringe player really, up until this season. Um, when Kane wasn't there, he stepped up, or Son stepped up. It's been amazing. An amazing run. Nobody gave us a chance against City. You know, Premier League champions now. Nobody gave us a chance to beat them, but we did. But anyway, I'm on the waist what voice I've got left on football because like it's just too much I'm not going to Madrid if you're asking, if you're wondering I can't afford it, everything's sold out you get flights but there's no hotels 
And yeah, literally yesterday, first day of sun in England, like proper sun, I went and got sunburn. That's why I got long sleeves on, because my arms are just on fire, literally. <coughs> Burning. Typical me, innit? Because I was sat out here for about, what, I don't know, four, four, four or five hours reading um, this new book I got called The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. And yeah, I could swear, but then I'll just be like the guy in the book. Literally every other sentence is an F word. But I do recommend it as a book. Um, it's just different to any other book I've ever read. And in the podcast coming up soon, I will have to talk about it when I get my voice back because there's a lot to explain. That like, it's just not your average book, not your average help book, you know. What would you expect anyway? When you get a title like that for a book, it's not going to be normal, is it? So yeah, be talking about that soon. Literally, my voice is going to go. So why vlog anymore? Like I've been late on the vlogs because of this. I'm okay. It's just my voice. So before I sound like, I don't know, a 50 year smoker, I'm going to have to stop. But thank you guys. I'm back. I keep going and coming back. Going and coming back. Does it what? Does it make a difference? But this time I had no choice. Literally with no voice. This career, you're done. It's like a tennis player getting injured. That's it. What, what else are you going to do? But I want to thank you guys um, and enjoy the weather wherever you are. If the weather's not so great, just have faith that it will be. If you're in Australia, well, winter's coming, so you're in trouble. So I don't know what to say. But um, thank you to all of you. Shout out to all of you loyal, loyal fans. And I'll see you on the next vlog or podcast. Take it easy, fam. Peace.